I said, praise the Lord. You see, sometimes when a man of God say, pray, some people will, will be sitting down, begin to sleep. Praise the Lord. It is not good, it is very bad. You see, I want to testify how this, the water you are holding now mm-hmm. walk like a sword. Can we clap for Jesus? Somebody holding that water. Listen and listen very carefully. Praise the Lord. I thank God and a bride. Amen. Amen. And uh, since I am a bride, you see, water is my sword. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I traveled home. There is one of my uncle's wife. This woman, in short, she's a devil. Praise the Lord. She had misunderstanding with my mom. So when I traveled home, my mom told me what she did. You see, as a peacemaker, I went to her. I called her. I was asking her, why are you always like this? You always trouble my mom. Why? Instead of her to say, okay, she's sorry or whatever, she said, oh, that they have sent me. So I am the one that has sense or I am the one that has power. Praise the Lord. That they told her that I went to Jabode and obtained power. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. After everything, let me just cut it short. Then that day was Saturday and I'm coming back to Lagos on Monday. Then that Sunday night, I want to come back with my junior sister that will stay with me. Then, on that Sunday night, around 1 15 a.m., I was lying down with pillow in my room, including my junior sister. Then, around 15 minutes after 1 a.m., then I now, uh, that night, I saw my pillow at, the light, at, the, at my leg side. Then, on my, on my head was a big snake. Praise the Lord. So that night, nobody took light. So the Spirit of God now tapped me. Said, my sons, stand up. Immediately I stood up. I hold torch. Immediately I just fly the torch like this. I saw a big snake. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Amen. There is power in the bride assembly church. Can we clap for Jesus? For those that believe there is power in this place. She told me that she will deal with me. Because my mom have nine children. Two boys and seven girls. She said that she knew that I am so stubborn. That she will deal with me. So that very day, I told her, Koro Koro, I said, when I smash a, a, a sachet of water for you, you will die. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> then, as I saw that snake, I now begin to look where, there, where I can be able to see door and run outside. I cannot be able to see door. And I'm holding, I'm holding torch. So anywhere I go, the snake will follow me. Anywhere I go, the snake will follow me. Immediately I shout the blood of Jesus Christ. I now saw we are done. Power in the blood. Can we cry for Jesus? The power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I now ran outside. Immediately I ran outside. And I told my Jesus sister, even that time that that time myself, my Jesus sister ran into Balon. Begin to shout, begin to cry. I am myself, I run outside. The snake follow me outside. Praise the Lord. As I reach outside, I begin to look for something that I will, I will use to hit the snake. God speak to me. He said he will prove himself this morning. Praise the Lord. So, immediately I came back outside. And I stood up. I hear a voice that said, use your Bible and cover your face. Praise the Lord. I use my Bible and cover my face. I'm telling you the gospel truth. The snake stood up like a man. Can we clap for Jesus?
Praise the Lord. I just place stood up. That is the time I hear a voice that say, "Use your Bible and cover your face." So all the spit, the snake, spit that very day, was on my Bible, gushing like a draw soup. Praise the Lord. So I begin to pray, begin to hammer him with the word of God. I now told the snake that if your power is above God, keep it this morning. But if the, the God power is above you, I will not hit you anything, but you will die. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Immediately I begin to pray. Before I could know it, the snake fell down. Can we cry for Jesus? The power in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. See, you are here today. Some people are here. They don't know where they are sitting. Mm. You are sitting on the ground of solution. Mm. Praise the Lord. Where there is power. Some people come here for uh, to see signs and wonders. Praise the Lord. So, that's, like, that's why when you travel home, you see some people. They say they travel home in the night. They don't know what they have battled with. In the morning, they died. Praise the Lord. So that snake now, I now want to draw it outside our gate. Believe me, brothers and sisters, I, I cannot be able to draw that snake out. I cannot be able to lift that snake up. I now went and called my senior brother, my pa, senior brother, the son. I said, and that was something happened. No, that one, a woman, I began to cry. Immediately we came there, two of us cannot leave that snake, draw it out. He, he told me that, ah, Obina, this snake, now human being, no. And I told him that I fought with your uncle's wife. He said he will do, she will do with me. But what I'm saying that, what I will do to her, I will give her from now to 2011. Then 2011, she, when she passed 2012, I will know that the God of bribe is not alive. Praise the Lord. So, on June, we are, we are doing our June uh, this year, last year. Then, immediately we finished that program. I was living at uh, Ogu State. Later, I want to enter my parlor. I have, uh, they called me. Ah, Obina, your uncle's wife is vomiting blood. I said, wait, I want to tell you something. From vomiting blood now, she will go to hospital. From hospital, she will go to mortuary. So the brother said, ah, why can't you pray for your uncle's wife? I said, we people that are in the east, they don't know what we are facing for Lagos. People will stay for Lagos for two, uh, 20 years, 25 years, you not achieve something. You don't know what they are doing you at the village. Praise the Lord. So after our, our Jew camp, the, the line called me 30 minutes that, ah, your uncle's wife have given the ghost, so she's now in the mortuary. Praise the Lord. Can we cry for Jesus? He that digged a pit, let them fall inside it. So what I'm saying is that the pure water you are holding on your hand is your battle axe, but you don't know. Praise the Lord. When you want to smash your pure water, whoever you have been suspecting, according to our pastor, you call the name of that person, and you see the God of bride in action. God bless you. Can we clap for Jesus? Hallelujah. Amen. My testimony goes to my mother-in-law. Last three weeks, we received a call that my mother-in-law have not stood up for four days. Then, I was telling my husband to travel. Then we were preparing to travel. Even last week, before prophecy came, that someone should not travel Thursday night. Then when I came here last two weeks, Tuesday, then after blessing the water, I used the water, I called her name. As I was washing my leg, I was speaking, I said, Did God, distance is not an, a barrier. Someone from over us, we just wash on studio and saw us and believe and have faith and got here. Now this water will go to east and heal that woman. Then after doing all those things, but I still have fear in me because the calling still coming, coming. Then on last week, when I received the prophecy, I told my husband, let's go to altar and call her name 
I tell my husband, go to altar, call her name three times, and I call her name also four times. That making seven times. Then I tell my husband that let's wait this week. If you still receive the same call, I will know that I'm not serving a living God. But I just want to thank God that on Sunday, being day before yesterday, we called them. They said that she has started working and she's healed. We have Praise a living God. Lord. Can we cry for a healer? Thank you. Jesus is a healer. Thank God for favor he granted me. And before then, I want to thank God for the spiritual turnaround I've experienced is like... Can we like clap for Jesus for the installation? I've noticed since I started coming to Bible Assembly, my spiritual life has transformed. Can we clap for Jesus? God is doing something. And uh, I want to thank him for this favor he gave me. Uh, a long time I've been applying, trying to get jobs, and I've not been getting this favor. Most times when I go for an interview... At the point of interview, it will be very sure that they have taken me. The moment I leave there, that's the end. I don't hear from them. I just don't understand what was going on. And I've been praying for long concerning this. So this, some weeks ago, I received a text to come for an interview. I went for that interview. That was the first uh, segment. After that one, we went for a second one. And we now went for the final one, which is the third one. Out of the thousands of applicants, they actually needed only two. So after the whole interview, the human resource manager told me that I was number one among the people that Can came. we clap for Jesus? I want to thank God for his favor. Let's go. Somebody today, you are going to be number I one oppressor. No, you... no long Praise story. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank God. Since I gave my life to Christ, he has been so... There's what they call unmerited favor. Can we clap for Jesus? That is God for us, unmerited. It happened, although I've given this testimony to my prayer group contenders, but um, I still want to give it to the whole congregation. It happened on Tuesday last week, water administration. This water administration work. It's just for you to key in. If you key in, it will work for you. It will work. I believe it. It will work. It's on, on Tuesday last week when we came to church. So as we were praying, after the water administration, so our, our daddy now said that that God will expose that he said God will expose people that are behind us, even from our family. So where I stood, I was praying that God now took me in the spirit, went to my father's compound because before my dad died, he, he built his house. After building his house, I was supposed to open the house on January. But he died. We took his cups and opened the house. So he now took me to, to the compound. The Holy Spirit took me, there's, if you enter my father's compound, there's one tree like that, one palm tree by the left there. So the Holy Spirit took me there, he was not pointing a sword at that palm tree, pointing a sword there. So I just heard the Holy Spirit that, that in those days though, that there's a shrine there that they were worshipping. That is number one. Number two, again, he opened my eyes, I saw a, one old woman was walking out of our compound. The woman was looking at me as she was carrying a very mighty load on her back. She was looking at me, very old woman with all her teeth rotting. She was looking at me and she was laughing and she was leaving the compound. I said, God, you wish me now, my, now I saw like four angels in my compound. Because I said, God, before I pray, I pray, I said, God, let my name, Ogechuku, work for me. That was the prayer I made. I said, God, please. And I said, God, go and do, there's what they call heavenly sanitation. I said, go and do sanitation in my compound because since I grew up in that compound, it is either there's quarrel or there's barrier in that compound. And my father being the head, as in the first son, died. We carried his corpse into the compound and opened the house he built. After building his house, he died. I said, God, after everything, he now opened my eyes. Because after my father's burial, we did family liberation. He opened my eyes. I saw there's a man, there's a spiritual man that used to come into that compound. Like a madman. And that is the spirit of confusion. It caused confusion in the home. He opened my eyes. I saw that man fly into the compound like this. Piam! And I saw that man fly back. I said, God, what is this? I said, Father, please open my eyes. I started praying. I was praying. I was praying. I was praying. I was praying. He now said, it is done. I Can we go for Jesus? It is done. I give Believe God the glory it. because I don't know what brought you here. I don't like what my brother says. Say some will come here. They will say you should pray. You'll be tired. If you don't want to come to church for deliverance, don't come. Still sit in your house. If you are coming here, come here and come here 
expecting from God. Don't come here because you are coming here to see how they will call this one out. How prophet? Because when I gave my life to Christ, it was no true prophecy. God arrested me where I was sitting down. They, they did not call me out. They have never called me out for any prophecy yet. But he arrested me. And he can even talk to you even without prophecy. He can talk to you without prophecy. He can give you revelation without prophecy. So just believe in the word. And please, if you are here and you are expecting God for anything, be serious minded. Focus on God. And you know the devil is a liar. Sometimes he will bring sin that you have committed. You have asked God for forgiveness, so, but he will still bring that sin to be judging you. Immediately he starts saying that will cast it because once you start reasoning that sin back, you have committed another sin. I just thank God for the glory of God upon my life. I say may his name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Can we clap for Jesus? All the time. The God of bride is a different God from other churches. Talk louder, brother. Can we clap for Jesus? It's a restored church. If you don't want to change, he will change you by force, by fire. We are not hearing you. If you don't want to change, he will change you by force, by fire. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. It's different God from other God because he changed my status. You want to clap? Clap it very well. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. The testimony is, I'm even, is even wondering me. My body is shaking because I don't know how to start it. Start anyhow. Uh, I was, right from when I was very young, I find myself into one habit that is not good. This habit is habit of smoking. And it's, it's like a spirit that entered me. Not that I'm the one smoking, but it's like the spirit of smoking entered me. And that, if that spirit didn't leave me, I would never get myself. Right from, let me, from 1994, this spirit has dwelled in me. Smoking, smoking. Make small money, you spend it for cigarettes. Make small money, spend it on cigarettes. Burning our money with fire. Instead of using it to buy something good, we are burning it with fire. Burning money with fire. I just carry money. So, T. I started burning 240 naira every day with fire. I said, God, I don't like this habit that I'm living. Change me. Change me from this habit of smoking. I don't want to smoke again. I will stop. One week, three days, I'll find myself into it again. I said, God, no. I can't keep on living this kind of life. But this spirit don't want to leave me. I've gone to many churches for deliverance. Prayer point, written it down. Upon that, the same thing is still happening. I said, God, change me. I don't want to live this kind of life. I can't keep on spending my money. I, if I shake my wallet, I will not see one naira. If I see it at all, I will carry matches or lighter and burn it. It has been a big problem to me. No one in my family all knows that I smoke, but no one has seen it in my hand. But they feel like, yes, 
I don't hide it. But they have not seen it. And they know. They keep on accusing me. I keep on laughing at them. They don't know what they are, they don't know what they are doing. I'll look at my palm. You can see the way my palm is white now. Before, my palm was black as my back hand. But I can see that I've seen my men flesh since I begin to come to church. Can we clap for Jesus? The Lord is changing him for good. My lips was dark as my back, but now I'm starting to seem as if I'm rubbing lipstick. Well, I'm not rubbing lipstick. Amen. My Juno sister worships here. She keeps on telling me that there's a church at Ijecha called Brother Assembly that has, I must come and worship there. That if I come there, I will so much in love with the church that I must, I will never worship any other church. I tell her, go and sit down, my friend. That's how, I, do you know how many church I've been to? Do you know how many church I work as a teacher? Do you know how many church I work as an evangelist? Forget about that one you're talking about. She said, come, come. You see, she even begin to say that if I come, there must be a change. I said, okay, no problem. One day, and I decided to come. That was about, let's, make, let's call it two months ago. The first day I stepped my leg in here, I made a promise to God. Oh yes, do it very well. Jesus is doing something in life for his people. Thank you, Jesus. And that, and that was on Tuesday like this. I came here, everywhere was filled up. I said, God, when, once I, ent I just entered the gate, I said, let me make a promise to God that if this spirit leave me alone, I will serve you forever. <laughs> then I came into the church. I sat down after the test seat here. Front, I came very early. She said, I have to come very early in the morning to sit down there. I said, no problem. 5.30, I left the home. I was here. I said, I want to see that God of Bride of Assembly. I want to feel his presence. I want him to change me. And you have seen it. Can we clap for Jesus? He has seen that God. So, that day, after the man of God has finished, I was hearing that water baptism, water baptism. I said, ah, I must be partaker. I called my general sister. How can this water baptism take place? He said, I must baptize. I said, is there not anything like uh, maybe you have to go to school or baptismal no? class? Baptismal class. He said, no. See, no. no, no, no. I see people It's rushing. not in the store I, church. I saw people rushing to the altar. I have to flow them to collect my own blessing. I rushed there to the altar. I kneel down. Do as they do. They ask us to go to the back there. I went to the back there as I'm following. Follow, follow. I don't know, but I need to be my blessing. And that follow, follow, bring a, a good fruit. I followed them to the, to the pool. I saw the water. The water was colored. I said, huh, this water that is if I enter, I said, I don't think I'm not coming out with this smoking again. That was what, that what my mind said. But after everything, I stepped my leg into that water. But I'm telling you, immediately I stepped my leg into that water, I come out. It's like load was in my body has offloaded offloaded can we clap for jesus no man entered that pool of beside her and something happened in his life i said to myself that i need to confirm something first before i'll come out of the altar to give a testimony i leave myself i was going i left home that day i entered a bus a man that was sitting beside me was smelling cigarette, cigarette. I wanted to vomit. I said, oh, my stomach. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? That demon her pack I, out is allergic to my, smoke now. I took my anki. I covered my nose. I said, no. I, this man, I, I look at the man. The man knows that maybe I feel the odor of cigarette in him. I covered my nose. The man said, sorry. Bro. I didn't say anything. I said, no problem. I go on. I go to bus stop. Yes, so he's a new creation now. All things have passed away. Can we clap for Jesus? That's what I want to hear. So when I get home that day, I see need to confirm it for myself. 
So they say a booking man that a normal go to his place to see the team. The Nigerian man. From that day, that thinking went away from me. Quiz Abu, why would I be going to a booking place? Be sitting at home. Stay with your sister, stay with your brothers. I stopped going to that place. I will keep on staying because before I don't stay at home anymore. I always be I always go out every minute, every second I go out. But my sister, my sister noticed that this guy is no more going out again. It's like he has stopped that habit. She didn't say a word. She confirmed it by herself. But I myself I have not confirmed it first. I need to investigate very deep in me that this thing, this stupid something is no more in me again. After two weeks later, I had a dream. This dream I had, I saw some people, they are white, select people. They are much in a place, putting all white garments, dancing, singing, dance, serious dancing. I just came in there. A, 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 the senior one of them called me, said, come here. I come, he said, you have been smoking before. I said, that was before. He said, he said God save you. You could have died. I said, that. I said, yes. He said, wait. They start to dance. All of them begin to dance, 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 dance. This one, the man just came to me in that dream. He touched me here. He removed something. I said, look at his hand. It's catfish. Life catfish. He threw it on the floor. He touched him on my body. He removed something. Catfish on his hand. Everywhere in my body was full of catfish. All the floor there was full of fresh, fresh fish. Everywhere. Any place he removed the catfish, the place will be deeper. Why other side are the catfish is still in there? You see there. So he begin to remove different, different fishes. Not, not any other thing. Fishes, fresh, fresh fishes. You see, if it's not these things that I'm removing, I will die. If you remove it, after removing it all, in that dream, I feel as if a load have went away from my body. Can we cry for Jesus Christ? That deliverance shall be permanent. Then, I said, the, after removing it, I saw some people with that white garment. They start packing it from the, 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 they use one big basin. Start packing those fish, pouring it inside the gutter. I was standing there, looking at them in the dream, pouring these fishes into the gutter. Suddenly, I saw something on my hand, something that stood up, something that rose up. I used my hand. I removed, I opened my skin, it was fish, so I removed it myself. I threw it on the floor. That is how all the fishes in my body you are went out. Can we clap for Jesus? When I woke up that very night, I ran immediately to my junior sister's room. That should be after one to two. I called her, I told her, look at the kind of dream that I had. Though. Look at what they removed. And look at the question they asked me. Now, I believe that I am healed. That I have been delivered. Can we do something? the Lord. Hallelujah. Like, since then, I know that my name is Donatus by name, but I know that the old Donatus has been buried in this water. The person standing here now is a new brand Donatus. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Juliet Ori. I want to thank God for his mercy, protection, and compassionate love upon my family. Can we clap for Jesus? He said, last year I waited without accommodation. We prayed, but it seems impossible. But today, the Lord has honored us with a good accommodation. Can we clap for Jesus? Through a financial favor, and now my shape don't change. Can we clap for Jesus? Somebody, your shape will change from today. Say, give God all the glory. I want to thank Prophet Jayola Dion for his prayers. I enclose here with a sum of 1,500 naira testimony offering. Can we clap for Jesus? But I can we hear you?
Somebody after today, your life must change. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Church, I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. This, this testimony is a long testimony. This was happened to my life when I was very small. As I would say it one day in the presence of God. But you have one that happens to this church, I will say after. But this one, I want to say it for the glory of the Lord. I supposed to be a dead man by now, but God has grace and have purpose for my life. Can we clap for Jesus? You will not die until you fulfill your destiny. Church, this goes like this. When I was very small, I have one girl that took me to a place. And that place, they are hand robbers. I was very small, then tried to train me to be their member. But at the end of the day, God escaped me from them. I didn't be their uh, groups. But since that time, I always have a friend, I'm robber, I'm robber, I'm robber. Always they come to me, tell me, let's go do and this deal. I say no. Or I'll promise them I will go. But one thing for another, I will escape from them. Since then, I've been having that threat for my life. But when I go to a place, I went to sell market at Google State. Uh, I have a friend, I have a bad friend there over there who used to play gamble, doing bad things. But one day, when I finished my market, because I came always, I always came to nature to pick my, my market. So on my way returning back to nature to pick my market, I met a one madman. That madman asked me, do I know who he is? I said, no. He said, but I have trouble in my life since I was very small. I said, yes, because I know what is happening to my life. He said, I always have friends which always trouble my life, which I didn't like to be among them. I say yes. He said, my God told him to tell me that one day I will be liberated. I say, how? He said, one day I will be free. He, he promised me to pray to that my God. But I will give him something to pray to, my, to that my God. I bring out money from my pocket. That money was very small. He said, no. He said, my God is richer God. That, uh, that money I bring is too small to my God. But let me put it in my bag. He said, will, he will pray for me. And I left. But when I came back to that Kogi state, we have problem with my gang. They now send us out of that city because the king, the son, the, the king's son was among us. So if they harm us, they will harm the king's son. They not send us. They not send us away. So let I forget something. I want to come and pick it there. I just entered there by twelve o'clock in the midnight. As I entered the city, I don't know how they take you note know, that I don't enter. Immediately the boy that comes say Chukuma Chukuma. That is my name. Say let me not sleep here. If I sleep here tomorrow morning, I'll be a dead man. Let me move. I now move. That's how I came to Lagos. But when I came to Lagos, we still came with some guys. Along the line, I see having that problem. But by grace of God, since over four years now, I never experienced that kind of life. Praise the Lord. Can we clap for Jesus? All those past friends, all those things that man told me are come to pass. They past the things. So now, I've never experienced anybody that to come and meet me and join him again. So now, what brought me to this church? I play football. I have an ankle and injury. It was very bad. One day, I came here, but I'm coming with dreadlock. The thing was so very painful that I can't walk well. Then one of my friends called one of the prophets here. He came to our house. He prayed for me. He gave me prophecy. He gave me these sachets of water. He said I should break it and deliver myself. If I have faith, it will work for me. Brethren, I pray today. I do it and it work for me. That is my testimony. Can we Praise clap for Lord. Jesus for that healing power? Jesus Christ has stepped into his life. And his life will never remain the same.
I have some announcements here. Please, the singles. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to thank God for what he has done in my life. Can we clap for Jesus? When we thank him for what he has done, he's going to do more. I want to thank him for a journey mercy he granted unto me. I traveled down to Port Harcourt uh, three weeks ago now. Something happened and I took a night bus. So on the way throughout all our journey, it was in Ansha that we met armed robbers. And uh, by the grace of God and the grace of God upon our driver, we never knew that they were criminals. They blocked the road. We, we thought that they were police or um, this custom. But what gave us the sign they, that they were criminals is the time they broke the glass of the uh, uh, passenger's side and they told the driver to open the door. So the driver stood up in order to open the, the door for them to come in and rob us. So by the time he knew that uh, uh, um, this is not police and some of them we are holding us and something came upon him because I later uh, 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 interviewed him. He knew that none of them was with gone. He decided to go back. So by the time he put the, uh, the boss on uh, revise, the, the criminals rushed through, through his side. They used powerful ass to break the side of the driver. But by the grace of God, the pan they used to mow that side. Bullet can, can't even penetrate it. So that was why the driver was able to drive through a reverse and we were saved. Can we clap for Jesus for safeguarding his people? So I thank God for Johnny Mercy. Another one is that uh, uh, the day Pastor mentioned of uh, blessing the accounts, I was about to travel and I had that in mind to drop my account number to my friend. But I forgot it. And I traveled. So I intended to travel to Abuja for uh, an, an appointment. But uh, on my way, I said, let me travel down to East. From there, I, I traveled to Abuja. So I was called that the, uh, the appointment was terminated. It has to be rescheduled. Then I decided to come back to Lagos. Then I came back to Lagos, and the, 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 the program has taken place. I called the pastor. That daddy, I supposed to take play, uh, partake in this very, very thing. He said, yeah, but he's gone, but I should connect. I insisted. He said, okay. Did I want to be, uh, to, to bless my account personally? I said, yes. He said, okay, when I come to the church, I should let him, uh, let him know. Then when I came to the church and I feel the form and uh, he said I should come to, to the altar when the time reaches. Then when the time reaches, I come to the altar. By that time, I've opened another account. Because the, the first account I had, uh, uh, it was very rich, let me put it that way. Then I opened another account. Then I brought the two accounts here. And they prayed with me. And after that day, that's something God did. If we are told, if a man of God is saying that God said, this is what he will pray on, please anchor with him. Don't take it for prayer. That day I knew, after that prayer, something happened. Uh, I think a day or two days after that day. I was in, in, in the street where I'm, 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 uh, I was living. And um, there's a guy I had an appointment with, based on some money I want to I would take from the guy. Concerning some business I did, the people are disturbing me. So I was standing in the shop of the guy. And a guy was coming. And uh, I, I just backed the shop of the guy. The guy called my name. I don't know, I, I don't know him. I was looking at the guy's shop. And the guy standing with me as if he was the one that uh, is being called. Because I, I never knew him to, to have a name like that. I never knew that the guy was actually calling me. So uh, the guy is still coming. So by the time he approached me, he shook me. He called my name again. I said, yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't know you. Uh, how do you know me? He called, 
ah, ah, this is his name. And I now look him well, well, and uh, I shouted. You see, God used this foolish thing to confound the wise. That's what I believe. And God was in an uncommon way. The guy told me that uh, he heard that I, mean, I, I was in abroad. And um, what happened? That he has heard some certain story. And um, so when I started an narrating the story to the guy, I began to shed tears. The guy said, no, I shouldn't cry. That he know me and that he know that I'm a star. That I should forget anything. That it's God that just made him to see me. And the guy was planning to travel out. He wanted to go for a business trip in abroad. The next day or so. And he told me, I should forget anything. What, what, what am I up to now? I said, yeah. I want to travel back. So he said, anything money can do to see me through. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If you want to do it, that is the same blessing somebody is going to receive this prosperity week. Anything you want to do, our God is more than able to supply it to you. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray that rising and falling will not be a portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, by the grace of God, the guy traveled. And after his business, he came back um, last week. And to prove to me that what he said before traveling was real. As he came back, he came to the place I took him to. Because he has gone to my house and he didn't see me there. He came to that place and found me. So he, he was just coming back from, he just dropped from the airport now and then. He's just coming back. I said, God. God is at the work. And I embraced him and uh, we greet. And we went to eat and um, he said, I should send my account number. And I sent the hey, account number to him. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> somebody here, somebody that God is going to use. So I believe to you, we locate you, we locate you in the name of Jesus. Thank Praise you. the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. There are other testimonies that is coming. And I'm, and I'm coming back again. Can we cry for, for Jesus? Coming. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. My brother, Ikwene. Gabriel J. He said, I found an evil lad dead in my house, according to Pastor Moses Arrow on last Friday Covenant Vision. Can we clap for Jesus? How many of us remember this prophecy by our overseer? That he saw three evil lads died. And this is one of them. He said, I found it on Sunday morning. Indeed, God has raised Pastor Moses Allen to break yokes. May the name of the Lord be praised forever. He is thanking God with son of 500 Naira. You are worthy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Savior, thou art worthy. Hallelujah, amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah, amen. I want to thank God for the healing upon my life. For the healing power, can we clap for Jesus? In 1998, I fell a sickness, serious one. Cough, start disturbing me. I called my mother at the village, said this is what I'm seeing in my life. He said, I should come to village. I traveled to village. My mom took me to hospital. We went to test. The doctor said, it's uh, asthmatic. I said, asthma. He said, yes. He said, give me drugs. Give me VC that I will use. After the drug finished, things started again. I come to my mom. He said, things started again. It's stopping me. He said, I should come back to village again. I come to village. 
meet one man. The man said I should pay 20,000 naira that he will cure me. I paid the money. The man gave me drugs. I, I drink the drug, stay two weeks in the village, come back to Lagos again. After the uh, drug finished, things started coming, it's me again. I come my mom, my mom said, my mom go meet the man, the man uh, gave him the drug to send to me to Lagos. So it's that drug that I'm using since then. And the man used to tell me that some of the drugs that I will buy when these things start, start disturbing me. So since 1999, I've been on drugs since then. So last year, uh, this year, third week now, I'm coming here. Last year, uh, two weeks, I went here to come and bless water. After the water finish, I drink the water. Since that last week reached now, there's no water. Now no we clap for Jesus. He's a healer. He is the greatest priest and ever live on this earth. Doctor Jesus, thank you. Can somebody stand up and say, Thank you, Lord Jesus? When all that doctor says he never fails. Even some of the drugs said now nah, it's in my house. Since then, none of drugs enter my mouth, reach now. I say, May name be exalted in the name of Jesus. May his Christ. name be glorified. Can we clap for Jesus one more time? I want to thank God again. On Thursday, we come a uh, breakthrough. Pastor said, Will you write uh, a soundboard that anything that you want God to do for you, that is, you write it and bring it. So we did uh, two Thursdays. So the last one is submitted, submitted uh, at altar here. So after that, there was the, that program, I have a connection at uh, China. So I call uh, the Chinese woman, tell him the type of uh, the, the, the type of goods that I want. He said, "Okay, did I have anybody that I will, any more friend in China that I will send the money to him, so the guy will bring the money to her?" I say, "Yes." I call one boy in China. He's calling me fine. I call her, I call him that he will do business for me. He say, "Yes, he will do." But I will give him transport that will go to Guangzhou and carry the, the goods to come. I said, "Okay, I will give you." So I, I send money, the boy did business for me and send the goods. I said, thank God. So one of my friends joined me again, he bring his own money to join my own money. We send the money to China, the boy bring the goods again. I said, thank God. Can we clap for Jesus? You be sending money, they be sending goods. Do something for the Lord Jesus. You be sending money, they be sending goods. Somebody will be sending money, no stress. That is faithful business partner. So, along the line, the boy that I'm sending money to go and give the Chinese woman, the boy sees my money. I say, ha. I call the boy, I said, send money on 5th of uh, July, uh, June to uh, Nama at uh, International Airport. I call him and say, yes, yeah, uh, yeah, one, uh, two days, but I did express. He sent it to the tomorrow, he received it. On uh, three days, I say, the boy said, never go and collect the money, he never see the money. I say, why? He said, never see the money. He said, they don't have money in their office. I said, okay. One week, I call him again. He said, I'll go and collect the money. You know, I said, want to, want to, I want $50. I don't even tell me the amount he, he collects. One month, I don't see goods. I don't see money. I don't stop him. He said, why? And I said, my money. I said, my, 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 my goods. And I said, I have bought the goods, but I haven't seen the passengers to give the goods. I said, okay. I went to the airport. I meet one of the guys that are traveling to China, Clement. Tell him everything, but it's okay. We're going to meet the fire. So I should give the fire a, 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 a number. I got the fire number, give the boy. The boy travels to China. I call the person, he said, that's in China. He's, I said, okay, call the fire. Call the fire. Fire and tell him, start calling, telling the boy stories. The boy tell me that the boy has eaten my money. I tell me a story. I said, like, I can't eat my money. My money cannot go like that. If I call the boy, he said, he will switch off your phone. Tell me, say, he's there, we are. He's this, there, he's there. He's I said, but the same thing my passenger. I have sent two boys to China for him to go and give the goods for them. Said, Why not give the goods again to them? He said, he went to Guangzhou to go and load the, this. Go and tell me the story. If I call him, he said, I will, I'm disturbing him. I'm disturbing him. I said, I'm disturbing you. He said, okay, yes. On Tuesday, I come here to call on the party fire the altar of God. The court of God. I said, you must to pay me my money. Hence, I know the God I'm serving. The God of a uh, brother assembly. 
I'm going to airport and complain to some people in the airport. Say, 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 what if I do in me? I said, okay, after that, I go. Tuesday, I come here. After the uh, church, I come here, I lie down. Start praying. After praying, finish. Since one month, two months, why have I even called me even one day? If I call him, he'll start on me. Start on me. I started fearing that I'm calling him again. I said, let me go and come back. After I pray, finish. Tuesday. Wednesday, call me. On full. Can we clap for Jesus? God has stepped into that case. He called me on full. I said, where are you? I said, I did my shop. He said, I should go to the airport and collect my money. Can you hear that? So, I said, okay, before I go, I use the water. Wash my face. Drink the water. I said, who say if I, if I will send to give my money, must pay me that money. I went to the airport. I called robot. I met the man. He said, yes. Let me confirm. He called if I he confirm. Give me some of my dollar. I put my pocket. When I meet the second man. He said, I should meet. The man, we are two coming to the man to pay us our dollar. So the man said, dollar man, he will not pay the man. So everybody should go. They do not have uh, money here. They should, they should come back uh, but, uh, next week. He said, no, 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 come, come. I should, the other man invest, go. He demanded me. I said, I want to go. He said, no, 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 I should come. He said, I said, where I live? I said, I live at Mafluku. He said, Mafluku, my man is near to the airport. I should go and come back. I said, no, I will not give, not, will give me my money. After I go inside, he said, I should come, 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 come back again. He said, how much my money? I can't my, can my money and give me. Can we clap for Jesus? So, Our case must be different for good. So my money remained $200 in, uh, in his hand. So I've been calling the boy. It's okay that he will send the remaining dollar that remained. Yesterday, he called me to go to the airport and got my remaining. No, on, on Friday, he called me. So I went to the airport. The guy told me that they don't have a dollar that to give me. I just come back on uh, yesterday. Been, uh, so yesterday, I went there. The boy said, yes, I have confirmed. Take your tune. It is settled. Can we clap for Jesus? So all my money have been. He's a man of praise the Lord. He's a mighty man of battle. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I went to testify for God for his goodness upon my head. Can we clap for Jesus? For the goodness of God upon his life. I came here last two months on June to give testimony. But one was wrong. The last testimony was wrong. And then no. That's why he reached at the end. Then say it's okay. Then no. So hi, Lord. I know understand though. Then no. We know understand. He said no. the testimony is uh, false. Okay. The last testimony why I give last two months. At the end, it's wrong. Yeah, I'm confessing I, now. Yeah, and I don't know. Okay. I God don't will know. have mercy upon you. Amen. Can we clap so, for Jesus Christ? Amen. 